Hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back to Let's Build with Shizo. Huh, it took me a while to release the next video because I wanted to make sure it is complete. I mean, the next build was pretty, pretty, pretty complicated, no matter how small it was. It's like 10 blocks by 15 blocks or something like that. And the idea is that I make a potato farm and a carrot farm next to each other with some villagers in it that will automatically farm it for me. Uh, the idea was that I will have this square over there in the corner where all the villagers are, are now, right now, right now, uh, with light level around se uh, s exactly seven. And when the villagers try to plant a carrot or a potato there, it will pop out. And it is working so far. I mean, it took me a while because I couldn't uh, actually make the square to be seven and to make this thing look beautiful not like a giant slap in the air but yeah it took a few designs it's I made uh, a, a, another version in my creative world that was actually working and I tried to rebuild it here and it was not working and it was very strange I mean I built this thing absolutely symmetrical but at First, the square was still eight, and this was still uh, it was seven. So I end up adding like uh, I mean a lot of it, trying to keep it symmetrical. But <laughs> I end up adding a lot of more and more and more and more slabs and more blocks until I get the right level. It is really weird thing to get the sky level to be seven. It's really weird. It's not easy <laughs> when you're trying to build something open like this one. But in the end, it's working. It's producing uh, around two stacks of carrots and two stacks of potatoes an hour and around five or four villagers an hour, which is okay for its size. And yeah, it has its problems like the potatoes and the uh, carrots are mixing from time to time. And I ended up with potatoes in my chest. And the other funny thing is that they stand over there when those do do this and they throw each other carrots and they um, end up collecting it from the picking up system <sighs> i have a cleric in, in here maybe mm, maybe the baby didn't find its way to the collecting system okay and let's me show you now the collecting system uh it's not pretty i have to warn you for first, if you remember, the village breeder was right here, so I didn't move my collecting system, I just make a new path to it from here. Mm. Uh, the villagers will, the baby villagers will drop here when I want them, and they will be picked up by a cart, and the cart will take them in the collection system. I want for a lot of time here, Afikang maybe around a day or yeah, I was Afikang for a day here, but I had another flow in my system and the flow was that this piece was missing and it's still missing. Uh, okay, <laughs> so this piece was missing and a zombie came here and in the corner and tried to infect my villagers and they end up killing each other and it was damn <laughs> so that's why i have a cleric here for now and a baby <laughs> and a, a, a baby uh, farmer there uh oh no the baby farmer is over there i have to move it from in one point but uh, actually to move a farmer from there to here is not that hard because i only need to break off the fence and the farmer will see that the crops are growing and nobody's farming them and he will rush to collect them <laughs> yeah so this is working uh, pff, I spent so many times on this thing to make it work properly that I get frustrated so many times I ended up starting the next my next project I ended up going to the end to kill the ender dragon and find my elytra and so on and so forth before I finish it this very very small garden oh my god but let me show you my next project or my next two projects to be more precise uh, this is not actually my, my project, it's a project by Juwushko. Uh, she agreed to build the outside of my sugar farm. I started my sugar farm and she started building around it. 
and we managed to build it together so it is changing size when we are going up and yeah it's getting more and more narrow and I, it was really fun to build with her on this particular project i really love it it still needs to be finished the top half is not finished maybe she will add the roof there i will wait to see how the build is going and i will adjust my final layers of the sugarcane farm accordingly uh, but even that the farm is not finished it is producing a crazy amount of sugarcane i mean uh, it is i don't know maybe five six stacks an hour yeah it is five to six stacks an hour so it's working <laughs> it is working pretty well i like it and yeah but this thing will be finished i assume in a few days and i will release a video on it when it is finished and i want to show you my other project that i started working a long time ago but i never finished decorating it but i finished it in its functionality and it is a skeleton farm and uh, that i found a skeleton spawner and i make a little farm next to it so i can farm my early xp from there it is down here in this cave I end up every time I come in here, I look in my inventory, ooh, what do I have? I have a stair, let's put the stair here. And <laughs> every time I came here, I ended up putting something somewhere <laughs> just to clear my inventory. <laughs> and yeah, I come from quite, I came a lot of time here. And let me see if you stand here. Yeah. What? Why it's not working? Why skeletons are not falling? Maybe it's not loaded yet. Maybe they didn't found its path to the trap. Okay, I will stay here for a bit. But uh, the idea is here is very simple. Where you make a creep like this one with a lot of chambers with bars in front of them. And it will represent coffins. I hope with bars because skeletons are waking up in this place so everything oh there's a skeleton oh, another one and another one yeah it took them a while just to to find their way in the water i guess anyway uh so yeah it will be some kind of creep i maybe lower the light dramatically here maybe leaving a one torch somewhere and covering everything with slabs or carpets so it will be a very dark place hmm i will play with that yeah i will do maybe i have a decent idea because now having a lighter i need to start building my rockets and a gunpowder farm and to do so i usually go up into the sky and farm the cats and so on and so forth but i'm wondering what if i uh, make a you know, when you make a small room with a uh, lower ceiling, and yeah, let, let me just show you. Let me just show you my next idea. Where was the. Yeah. So, the idea is that I will cover these four rooms. Oh, there are six. Yeah, there are six. Uh, so, the idea is that I will. Blah 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 la 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 I will make a flushing mechanism. I think this is, it has to be eight blocks wide. So when I make some dispensers here, they will flush the creepers down here and they will go there into the collecting mechanism of the skeletons. For now, I see a problem with my design. Like, why is this dude not going up? Oh, there we go. Uh, and they will go flash over to be flashed there to be collected by the collecting system uh, and they 
will end up in the killing chamber of the skeletons here oh my god I don't have a sword I will kill them with my fist if I have to Yay! I love this thing. Anyway, and yeah, I'm not sure how good it's going to work. If I'm going to get any creepers at all from it, are the creepers when they fall down will explode here? I don't know either. Will they see me through the glass and then explode while they are falling? I don't know. We'll see. I really don't. But it will be a. F God damn it! <laughs> Let's, I hope they won't explode because everything can end up with here. We will end up with a tons of tons of skeletons. <laughs> it will be crazy. Uh, so yeah, I think this will be my next project that I want to show you how it is. How it will be done. And as you can see, my everything is going to get a little bit more in shape sooner or later. Everything will be finished, and I want it to be like a small city small town around it i will show you a little bit further into the game where my permanent base will be because the little hut in the woods is my staffing base i'm planning to build a bigger one but first i want to get my hands onto a beacon or maybe a weird farm maybe but hmm, this will be a long thing to i want yeah, mm, Maybe a weeder farm. Uh, maybe, I'll, uh, maybe I will do a, make a weeder farm. It will take a, lot, a long time to be done, but Pixie Reef just released a video on a very simple one that I think I can rebuild, but I don't have. Uh, my nether fortress that I have right now it is stuck in the nether brick, nether, nether rock, and there is a lot of, lot of spaces to be covered and to be made spawn free. <laughs> and this will take a, lo a while, this will take a long, long time. Um, maybe I will find another nether fortress. Who knew? I haven't been so f for that long in the nether. I just went to to kill some blazers, to get my soul sent and some magma blocks and that's it. <sighs> okay guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was. <laughs> it took me a while to make it, but I really wanted to make. to be sure that my farm that I'm going to show you it is working. If you want to see more details on. I think maybe how I did the redstone, how I did the collection system, just type me in the comments. I will send you a link to the video tutorials I watched that will help you do maybe the same or figure it something else. Uh, but. If you, I want, I want, I want to make a tutorial about redstone because I barely understand that stuff. So yeah, please don't ask me that. <laughs> anyway, bye. If you like this video, you know what to do. Press the like button. If you enjoying the series so far, you can subscribe and continue watching my videos. I will continue developing this world. I don't know, maybe for a long, long time. And yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.